trusses have arrived in all 42 feet of their glory. So these things are pretty cool. Very glad I had them built. Uh, I definitely don't know enough about structural engineering to, to build these, so a lot of peace of mind when you have somebody else, a structural engineer, design it and then have them built uh, properly and nice and uniform. So as you'll see, I've got uh, 20 of the regular style load-bearing trusses, and this top one is a gable end. The gable end is not load-bearing, it's not meant to hold any weight because it sits directly on top, the lower cord sits directly on top, don't get dizzy, I'm moving you over, of the uh, back wall of the garage. So the next mission here is how do we get these things into place? Well, we get them into place with this fancy little drawing here. I've um, set my lift up with a super strut which mounts in three places to the lift. And you'll see this once it's up and running. I've got a 16 foot 2x4 that are doubled up as a, um, I guess you call it a spreader bar. And then I've got straps that will come down and grab these two lift points on each truss to get them up into place and you can see I've got that stuck down in the corner there. Uh, unfortunately I won't be doing a bit of this because for those of you that have watched my previous videos know I had some real back issues and uh, this past Friday so this was three days ago now I went in for a back surgery and I'm able to walk which is great. Uh, I'm not breaking any land speed records and I can't lift anything in fact I can barely lift myself but uh, the good news is uh, surgery went well. Um, I've got some nerve damage and things to deal with, but for the most part, uh, it's a success and uh, gives me time to sit in bed and draw pictures like this of how we're gonna figure out getting these things up into place. So I think this is gonna work out well though, that uh, this little lift setup with my uh, super strut in the middle there, spreader bars and the straps are, are going to do a nice job of, of uh, getting these, uh, getting them up into place here. And this is going to allow it to, uh, it's going to pivot right in the center here, so that'll allow me to easily, I should keep saying me, it's going to allow my family to easily adjust this thing in the air and get it to sit just right. It'll also take some strain off of, off of this in case the wind blows it or it wants to wiggle one way or the other. It can swivel instead of trying to really torque the heck out of this super strut that'll be holding it up. Uh, obviously the lift goes up, lift goes down, lift extends in and out. So positioning wise that should be super, well not super easy, but as easy as it can get. Uh, total weight on these guys is only about 180 pounds per truss, which really is not much. But when it's you know, 42 feet long and eight and a half feet tall, it's a real awkward piece to work with. And you do have to be kind of delicate with them. These are structural or structural pieces so uh, when they're in their element they're incredibly strong but when you're asking them to do anything torsionally uh, obviously that that's when you could damage them pretty easily and the other uh, part of this is the gusseting um, once they're in place there is very specific directions as far as how you need to gusset them uh, to connect them together in order to make a, a super solid framework that exceeds or meets what they were originally designed to do. So they're on site, which was the hard part. It was always worried, you always worry about getting stuff in on time, but they are, they were on time. Uh, reliable Trust is who I ended up going with, pretty large company and um, couldn't be happier with them. They did a great job, got it here right on time and uh, the trusses themselves look beautifully made. So um, gonna be another day or so wait here. And then I have a whole bunch of family rolling in to uh, <laughs> give this a shot. Um, well, we'll take us a, a shot back over at the garage itself. I'll show you what we've done so far to kind of get that prep. All right, so you'll see uh, about dead center on that back wall is one of the supports for the gable end. The gable end will be the first piece to go up and uh, there's going to be two more of these, one about here, one about there, basically half split the difference from the end of the wall to the center for additional support for that gable end to sit up against. And then from there, you're building it out in 24 inch sections. So already pre-cut is what will end up being your ridge beam. So unlike a traditional roof, this doesn't have a solid ridge beam that goes from the front to the back. This has, it's done in 24 inch sections. Um, and then also you'll see leaning up against the walls on both sides here are pre-cut 24 inch um, top cords basically that, and actually there's one already up there on the 
zoom in there, already up there on the top of the wall. So the truss will just nail right into that. Well, then we'll grab another one of the filler um, blocks, put that in place. And what that what that does, aside from having them pre-cut, it'll it'll speed things up. But it also helps make sure that your spacing from truss to truss to truss is dead on all the way down. So these are all pre-cut and ready to go. Uh, I've got a couple of extension ladders, so we're going to have one guy on an extension ladder at one end. One guy in an extension ladder on the other end, and the scissor lift will be in the center, lifting the truss. And I've uh, never done this obviously before, but I, I think that's going to work out real well. But uh, we will soon find out.
there we are after a full day's work. Um, these trusses proved to be a lot more difficult to work with than you would initially think due to the length. Um, a lot like me, long and floppy. Um, they make it, it's 42 feet of jello is basically what you're trying to manhandle up and in, into place and with the height of the walls being as high as they are it's just there's a danger factor there that's uh, considerably higher than I had initially predicted but um, it was a great project for uh, my family my dad his brother so my uncle and uh, me and my brother although I obviously wasn't doing anything but uh, giving a little direction where I could and <laughs> trying to help out uh, with whatever I could help out with which wasn't much of anything but they did a tremendous job uh, we are halfway halfway there I've got a total of 21 trusses that need to go up and 10 of them are up including the gable end right now and uh, they are fully braced we actually have some weather coming uh, this weekend so they needed to uh, be well secured which they are and uh, to get us through through the winter or through the uh, storm here so another day will get us hopefully the remainder of the roof meeting up with the old garage just uh, going to be a matter of getting some help lined up because uh, this is definitely a three-man project you need one on the lift as you saw and then you need two on ladders on either side ideally you could do it with one but you're gonna with one person you're just doubling the amount of time it takes to put up a truss uh, by the uh, last few trusses i would say we were down to maybe 30 minutes a truss from ground to getting it in place and secured so that's really not bad and a whole that was a whole lot quicker than it was in the first few trusses as we're just starting to try to figure out even how to how to get them in place um, so I think it, it'll move along quite a bit as long as we get that next day lined up and we'll get it sheathed and ice and watered uh, barrier and that'll be it for the winter as uh, that'll get us at least at least um, weather protected in here the video uh, coming up next will be the other half of these trusses being installed as well as probably getting into the sheathing a little bit. But um, we're, we're moving right along despite injuries here and um, very soon we'll have this enclosed and kind of weather tight at least for the winter. And then in the spring I can come back and shingle it. But uh, as always, thank you guys very much for watching and commenting and the encouraging comments I very much appreciate. Uh, if you have any criticism comments, put them right there below me. <laughs> subscribe button is right there check out some of my other videos uh, right around my finger here and uh, yeah have a great day everybody thanks for watching